Now let's take an example problem and identify the first term, the common ratio and the nth term. So for example, I give a problem which says find the sixth term of the pattern let me say I take 30 24 19.2 15.36 12.288 so on and so forth now in this case I would like to find the sixth term of the given pattern but initially to identify the pattern is very important so let me see if this is an arithmetic progression or a geometric progression as I clearly see that the difference of the pace is not same as can be clearly seen with the values given here therefore this cannot be an arithmetic progression now let me start with the geometric progression so let's see if this forms a geometric progression. So in order to test this for geometric progression, I just take each of the terms divided. So when I take these two pairs, let me see what the ratio is. So randomly taken out here, 24 by 30 is 4, 6. Two twelves, two fifteens, three fours, three fives, so this comes out to be 4 over 5, which is nothing but 0 0.8 is the ratio of 24 and 30. Similarly, I take the ratio of 19.2 and 24 and then see how I get the value of. So let me just simplify this. 12 2 is 24, 12 1 is 12 6 74, 12 0 0.8. I clearly see that. The common ratio here is also 0 0.8 when multiplied. Similarly, I find the ratio of this and this, which is 15.36 by 19.2. Then let me see what I get when I convert. 1536 by 1920. Then this when multiplied, 2 eights, 2 nines, 18, 2 six, 2 sevens, 14. And then 13 times 2, 6, 2, 8. Four, cancelling with four, four twos, four four zero, and four ones, four nines, four twos. And then finally, this comes out to be 12 twenties, 12 ones. Well, six, two tenths, four five twenty, four four sixteen. So I get four over five when I simplify this, and four over five is nothing but again zero point eight. Finally, lastly, let me see if this pair <coughs> also gives me zero point eight. So initially, to start with, it is successfully the equal ratio. Lastly, to be done with this. So when I take this. 12 288 by 15360 then this has to give me 0 0.8 so cancelling this 2 7s 14 2 6 12 14 plus 13 is 2 6 12 and then 2 8 0 then 2 6 12 2 ones is what I get then finally 2 times of 2 3s, 2 8s, 2 4s, 2 3s, 2 7s, 2 2s. And then to cancel this, 2 1s, 2 9s, 2 2s, 0. And 2 1s, 15, 2 3s are 6, 2 6s are 2. Now clearly I got this as 1 5 3 6 by 1 9 2 0 as a ratio which is already 4 times and 5 times as obtained in the previous case. Therefore, I can immediately cancel this 4 times by 5 times 
therefore this also is a ratio of 4 by 5 when converted to decimal as 0 0.8 therefore since the common ratio is same in all the pairs therefore this is a geometric progression as how we identify the geometric progression now, now comes on what is the sixth term of the pattern to start with my first term is clearly denoted by a1 that is a and it is given to be 30 so my first term is 30 out here and my common ratio is r and that is nothing but the value which i obtain when i divide the term by its previous term therefore the common ratio here is 0 0.8 is what i get now in this <coughs> i know the first term i know the common ratio then I also know my nth term which is given by the formula as in the previous case nth term is a n is a r power n minus 1 is the nth term which I obtain. Now since I need to find the sixth term therefore n equal to 6 gives me the sixth term by substituting n equal to 6 in the previous case I get the sixth term to be a scales that is a r power 6 minus 1 with n being equal to 6 and this finally reduces to a r power 5 because 6 minus 1 is 5 with a equals 30 and r equals 0 0.8 therefore this simplifies to 30 times 0 0.8 times 5 this when multiplied gives me the value of the sixth term which is the next term of the sequence because first second third fourth fifth and the sixth term <coughs> which can be calculated using a calculator because this simplification has a very lengthy process in simplifying for its value. A geometric progression is understood with this example problem out there. Now let's see one more problem on geometric progression where we need to find the position or the number of term. The position of the term in the geometric progression is how we connect. So here, if I say, if the question is, which term of the pattern two, two times root two, four, etc., is 128, is the question. So I have a pattern where one of the term is given to be 128. Now I want to know the position of this term 128. So let's try to identify the geometric progression and then find n. Now in this case, the sequence is 2, 2 root 2 and 4 and so on and so forth. Now here clearly, let's test this for a geometric progression. Now in this case of the pattern given here let's identify the common ratio as clearly I see the common ratio of this where this term divided by this gives me 2 root 2 by root 2 which is root 2 and here the common ratio is 4 divided by 2 root 2 which gives me 2 by root 2 which is root 2 whole square by root 2 because 2 can be squared to give this so that I get this also as root 2. So each of the common ratio is again root 2. So here also I get this as root 2. Therefore, this is a geometric progression. Now, to start with the first term, I know that my first term denoted by a1 is a, which is 2. My a is 2 and my common ratio generally given by the formula a n by a n minus 1 that is a term divided by its previous term is also the common ratio given by this. So let me take any pair where which are consecutively successive then in that case I get the term divided by previous term as the common ratio. This is the mathematical formula for R. So that if I take the common ratio of this I get 2 root 2 by 2 which is root 2 which is R. So once I know my A and R I need to find the position of this. 
Now, as I clearly see in the problem, we identify that 128 is the term which is in one of the pattern, but we don't know which position is that. Now, because we don't know the position of 128 in the pattern, I take it as the general term, which is nth term. So let me take this as nth term and find its exact position. So here, let my nth term be equal to 128, where I'm going to find n using the condition. So my nth term being 128 implies my an is 128. Now continued with the previous example, I have finally my a equal to r2 and my r equal to root 2 and my nth term an equals 128 where the formula for nth term is already taken as a r power n minus 1 which is equal to 128 is what I get when I substitute the formula for nth term of gp the geometric progression. Now my a is 2 which is substituted in place of a and r is root 2 times n minus 1 which equals 128. Now how do I find n from this? We strictly use the exponents, the loss of exponents which we have discussed in the previous sessions. So let's see how exponent properties can be used in finding the value of n. So in this case I can just write this as 2 times root 2 is 2 power 1 by 2 times n minus 1 equals 128 because root 2 can be written as 2 power half so that this on simplification gives 2 power 1 into 2 power 1 by 2 times n minus 1 is n minus 1 by 2 when expanded through the brackets which equals 128. To continue further from there I have 2 times of 1 into 2 times of n minus 2 n minus 1 over 2 using, using the first law of index I get a power m into a power n as a power m plus n therefore this becomes 2 power 1 plus n minus 1 by 2 equals 128 using the law of index the first law of index this on further simplification gives me 2 power lcm is 2 and 1 times of 2 plus n minus 1 equals 128. <coughs> this on simplification gives 2 minus 1 as 2 power 1 plus n over 2 equals 128. Now how do I simplify this 128? Let's try if I can simplify this raised to power of 2. If I can raise this as power 2, then I think I can get the value of n here. So let's see if I can get the multiples of 2 multiplied for 128. 2 threes, 2 sixteenths, 2 eighths, 2 fours, and 2 ones, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is 127 is raised to 2 power 7. I can raise this to 2 power 7 using this concept of LCM, the fact, using the prime factors, which in turn gives me 2 power 1 plus n over 2 is 2 power 7. Therefore, when the bases are equal, the powers must be equal, which makes me understand that since bases are equal, Therefore, powers also must be equal in this case, is the rule what we have studied in the topic of exponents. Now, the powers being equal implies 1 plus n over 2 is equal to 7. <coughs> this is how I get when I equate the powers, which on cross multiplication gives me 1 plus n equals 2 times of 7 which is 14 that implies my n is 14 minus 1 which is 13. So finally I obtain n equal to 13 by using the condition of the given problem which makes me understand that 
the position of the number 128 in the pattern is the 13th position or it's the 13th term is how I understand this problem. Now since n is 13, therefore the position of 128 in the given pattern is 13th term is how I conclude the given problem.